Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time, especially uh, in the middle of your Thursday afternoon. We so appreciate it. And of course, the goal is just like every week, we want to make sure that you walk away with some nuggets that will change your practice, right? You want to make more sales, you need some sales ideas, you need some takeaways so you can hang up the phone, right? And start calling. Uh, maybe friends, family, someone in your network, whatever it is, or maybe come up with a creative social media ad or a post to start generating new prospects, right? Or go back to your existing book to talk about the new kind of life insurance, right? That pays while you're still alive, right? Kind of a, a unique spin. Well, the featured presentation today has to do with the new type of life insurance that pays while you're still alive. Okay, great, great story. And this hook has been around for a few years now, but I feel that Protective and the presentation you're about to hear, they've mastered this concept. Okay, and they are literally the top selling IUL, GUL platform with an LTC rider in the industry, bar none, especially from an A plus rated carrier. So Lots and lots of great stuff to talk about. Um, Chris, who's our speaker today, is going to be at our expo. Um, he's also going to be at our employee holiday party. And just uh, he's more, forget a carrier VP, he's more of a, a family fr a family friend for many, many years. So uh, this is going to be a, a special uh, one hour that uh, we're sharing with you today. So great stuff to come. Um, what we're also going to talk about is a non-med platform, e-application, of course, these great living benefit riders, and some other bells and whistles that are now available here at Levinson and Associates. So sit back, relax, make sure you're jotting down plenty of notes. Um, we're going to do a little Q&A session uh, if we have time. So please, as we go, use that little panel. You'll see a Q&A panel. Uh, typically on the right hand side, you might have to expand it depending on your computer screen. Um, it's part of the software, so make sure you're comfortable with that. And then at the end, what we're going to do is have our question of the day. And whoever answers first and correctly wins your choice Amazon Echo, or we have the Fire Tablet, um, also an IUL prospecting book on us. So make sure you stay on till the end and make sure you're paying attention because the answer is in one of the slides that we're going over today. Okay, so I hope you are the, wi the winner and we're going to announce your name at the end. All right, so uh, what I wanna do real fast is let's dive into October, special month here at Levinson and the reason why we call it Pinktober. Um, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So. My birthday was also on the 20th, and I wanted to dedicate um, this day and this month here at Levinson to the American Cancer Society. So we made a significant donation on behalf of myself, our employees, and all of our agents, all of everyone that's on this call today, and uh, of course, everyone else that may be uh, listening to this at a later time, the recorded version, we have almost 20,000 agents. Uh, without you all, we would not be able to do this every single October. So my hat goes off to each and every one of you. Thank you for your business. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, we did this on Facebook. Uh, we also did this through all social media platforms. We had one day on my birthday, on the 20th, we made everyone wear pink. We did pink cupcakes, a pink cake, a pink lunch. And again, we dedicated this to Cancer Awareness 2021. And for the third time, we would never be able to even dream of this without our agents and employees. So thank you once again. Okay, let's uh, move forward here. We're going to talk about what's new at Levinson, and then we'll dive into the featured presentation. Um, what I also want to talk about is a quick story that uh, I wasn't sure if I was ready to tell the story, um, and you'll probably hear it in my voice. I sound a little a little off today, and um, and I'll, I'll explain to you the reason why. And yes, it has to do with our industry, and I'm not uh, sharing the story for any uh, sympathy or um, obviously uh, it's a, a tough, challenging time uh, for me and, and this person's family. 
Uh, but what's very interesting about the story is how it's related to the life insurance industry and what we do each and every day. So um, this just happened last weekend. And in fact, I have a, a funeral on Saturday that uh, I'll, I'll attend, obviously. And I, I will be there and, and bring flowers and do whatever I can for the family. But anyway, long story short, you know, Carrie, my father, always told me, he said, Bill, you know, this industry that we're in today, it's very, very important in what we do in helping these families. You know, yes, of course, we are an IMO and you are the agent out on the street, right, making it happen. But you have to understand the reasoning, right, and the big why for what we do each and every day, us helping our agents, you helping these families. And until you have, or, or I should say, until you have the opportunity of delivering a death benefit check, right, it, it changes your perspective on the industry, right? And yes, you, we all know about life insurance and we all know how it can change a, a family and, and especially children and, and grandchildren, right? How if someone passes, especially a breadwinner on the effect that that can have on a family, you know, it, it could it could be great if the person planned right and and bought a life insurance policy and you were the agent involved because ultimately you helped the family, or it could destroy the family because let's say the breadwinner wasn't responsible and didn't provide and let's say they passed unfortunately and there's nothing there for the kids and for the spouse, right? So until you deliver that death benefit check to a family in need, you don't get to see that part of it, right? The cause and effect, right? We, we can kind of describe it. And of course, we can pretend like, oh my gosh, if, if I was that person, what would it feel like? But until you actually do it, or you're involved one way or another, right? It just doesn't have the same meaning. So I'm going to tell you what happened this past weekend. This was my personal experience with the life insurance industry, okay? And, I'll, and again, we're the IMO, you're the agent, but I'll just tell you real quick the 100-foot uh, story and, and what just happened. So I have a, a personal friend of mine for 20 years, and she's about my age, in her lower to mid-40s, very uh, successful, okay? And she's here in, in South Florida, and her family is in New Jersey and New York. I'm not going to mention any names. Actually, this is still under investigation. So of course, I'm not going to mention any names on a recorded line. But anyway, good friend of mine for many, many years. And uh, she very successful um, in the medical field. And um, uh, I'm just going to, I'll explain it real, real fast, a little tough for me. But Friday, uh, she goes out with her boyfriend, she's in a, a relationship. And they get into a, a big argument, um, go back to his house, and somehow, and no one knows the real story yet, but there was a, a gunshot that was fired, okay? And uh, she wound up getting shot, and she, she died. She passed on on Friday night, okay? And they don't know if it was a, a suicide or this person was involved in any way. Um, like I said, it's still under investigation, okay? So I find out about this uh, Saturday, okay, I get a call uh, from her assistant, and obviously you can imagine the shock that I was in. Um, it, it was just, it's crazy. Right now I have the goosebumps. So you, you, you can imagine how this felt on Saturday when I first found out. And her whole family is up north. So anyway, I speak to her assistant and, and we're talking and she's telling me what happened and I'm apologizing. And she says, well, I'm sorry, Bill. I can't imagine, you know, what this feels like for you, too. And I said, well, you know, it's OK. We'll get through this. We have to stay strong and blah, blah, blah. And OK, that's the end of that. Then I get a call from her mom. OK, and you can imagine how that phone call went. She was distraught. I mean, barely getting her words out, okay? But here's what's interesting and here's the takeaway, right? And, and the reason why I wanted to share the story. So she can barely get her words out. She's hysterical, right? It's her only daughter and she's now, she's dead. She passed on, unfortunately, right? Horrible story. May she rest in peace. So about halfway through the conversation, she says to me, we'll call, we'll call this girl Michelle. I don't wanna mention her name, like I said. 
So about halfway through the, the phone call, through the conversa conversation, she says to me, Billy, she says, I remember her talking about a life insurance policy. Did she ever wind up taking one out? Please tell me she did. Okay. And what I do here for my friends and family is I have a local agent handle all of my friends and family. And then we're, of course, involved because we're the back office. And I remember sending the quotes. I remember talking about it, but I wasn't sure, number one, if it was actually in force, right, and active, and, and number two, if she ever went through with it. Because I remember she did purchase a policy on her parents, but I didn't remember if she had one on herself. So I'm going through my phone and I'm looking through emails and trying to find anything, you know, so I can tell her mom a little piece of good news. And unfortunately, I couldn't find anything. This was on a late on Saturday and obviously we're closed. So I said, I'll tell you what, I'm going to call you back. Let me do a little research. OK, so I wound up calling my Michelle, OK, who, who works here in the office. And Michelle was able to log in and get me all of the information. She says, Bill, guess what? Yes, she has a policy. Yes, it's in force. It's been in force for 11 years. So everything is fine. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this is fantastic news at the worst possible moment. Right. So think about this. So here you are. Right. Let's pick, let's put yourself in the agent chair and, and you're getting this call. Right. And you're the first person they call. Why? Because. Her family doesn't have money. They have to fly down here. They have to prepare for a funeral. They have to tie up all the loose ends. And you're the one person that can bring some, some good light into a conversation by saying, guess what? You're getting a million dollars tax-free of a death benefit check because your daughter or your son did the right thing. They prepared properly, right? And you were the agent that brought this up and sold the policy, okay? So now imagine, so I get the call from my Michelle in the office. She says, yes, it's in force. She even sent me a screenshot from the carrier website. And I was like, oh my God, this is a blessing. So I called the mom and I said, guess what? I have some good news for you today because it's the, the uh, obviously bar none, the, the most impossible, toughest time of this person's life, right? Her daughter just passed. And I said, you have a death benefit check that's coming to you for a million dollars tax free. And you would have, you can see not, a, I'm not going to say a smile, right? Because it's still a horrible time. Even if she was getting, you know, a uh, hundred million dollars, it doesn't make a difference. The money will never replace a person, especially a daughter, but to bring a little bit of good news at the worst moment in a parent's life, right? Or it could be a children, a child. It doesn't really make a difference. And all of a sudden, I remembered what my dad told me years and years ago. And he said, Bill, when you hand over that death benefit check and you keep a family in their home, it changes the way you look at this industry. Okay. And, and that's exact. I had that same exact feeling because I was the one that was able to bring a little bit of good news at the worst time in history in this person's life. Okay. So obviously now we're helping them out with the carrier and they're getting the correct paperwork and, you know, and, and, and now, you know, she's calling me and texting me. And of course I'm there for her. And, but all of a sudden you become like Superman or Superwoman because you were the one that brought this up and you were the one that had a little bit of good news and you were the one that helped prepare this person or family properly. So if they passed on their loved ones, we're going to be okay. We're going to be able to stay in a home or tie up loose ends or keep a business going, which is what's happening in this case. So anyway, I can't stress it enough. We talk about leads, you know, commissions and living benefits and, you know, different carriers and products. And yes, it's all important and it's all great and needed and tools are wonderful and lead programs, but don't forget your why at the end of the day, because I'll tell you what, and if you already got a phone call like this, you understand. But after I got that phone call on Saturday, I'm a different person, okay? And yes, it's only been, what, almost a little under a week? 
Okay, but I'll tell you what, I look at what we do differently, personally and business-wise. Okay, and, and I don't hope that anyone passes on, of course, but I hope as a life insurance agent or marketer or recruiter that you can somehow experience a little bit of what I just went through because it changed the way I look at this business. Okay, I promise you. Okay, and in my opinion, there's nothing else like this in the world that has this type of opportunity and this type of, of career path where you can make a great living and help these families like what just happened on Saturday. Okay, I promise you, it's huge. Okay, enough of my ranting. I'm, I'm back to, uh, to Bill Levinson here. Let's uh, get back on track. Um, you know, I was thinking about telling the story and I was like, maybe I should wait a little bit, but you know, I wanna make sure that we're always uh, preparing our agents, training our agents, and if you can share, you know, something similar, I think that uh, it will change the way you sell life insurance and help these families. So I wanted to make sure that I took uh, 10, 15 minutes to explain what just happened to me on a personal note. All right. Carrier incentives. Mutual Trust Life has a awesome new program for the end of the year. $2,500 in credit towards your family bank software. So we're going to have a relaunch on November 11th. We're also going to have a guest speaker from your family bank. So that's going to be a great presentation. Uh, Bestow, that is the fastest way for a consumer to buy term life insurance up to $1.5 million. That's on our direct-to-consumer website, which is Insure Me Now Direct. Um, which you all should have up and running. It's free. It's like Amazon for life insurance. And here's what's so cool. So number one, this is for like your younger, healthier clients. Okay. But here's what's neat about this incentive. They are paying you as an agent, right? If you want to just try out the platform, okay. And you go through the application, the online application process, which takes less than nine minutes, they're paying you 25 bucks, even if you don't take the policy. And if you do take it, you get a total of $150 on top of your commission and your agent of record, okay? I'm not gonna name any competitors' names, but there's a similar product that, that's been marketed, triple digit commissions, blah, blah, blah. You get contracted in 90 seconds. That's a referral fee. You're not the agent of record, okay? And Chris will agree with me, there's not a carrier today in this country that you can get appointed in less than 90 seconds, unless it's a referral fee. So I promise you that, so don't get caught in that hype in the gray area, okay? Make sure your agent of record on any life insurance policy. And you know, a good example, imagine when I called or Michelle called the carrier, right? To make sure my friend still had a policy. Imagine if you're not agent of record, they don't tell you anything. Okay, so there's so many reasons. I can spend an hour just on that, but make sure your agent of record on any insurance policy sold, period. End of conversation. All right, let's move down. So SureBridge is supplemental products. We also have on Insure Me Now Direct, $25 uh, for each app placed uh, after five qualifying apps. So above and beyond your uh, traditional commissions plus renewals on certain products. Now, this is a, another big incentive. So we have our Levinson Expo is back April 8th of 2022. And what, here's what's neat about the Levinson incentive. Number one, <clears throat> you can qualify for a free room at our beachfront location, beachfront resort in Deerfield in South Florida. Okay, number two, you can qualify for round trip airfare in two free nights at our beachfront resort. And if you're brand new with us and you've never even written an application yet, this is free. We pay for meals, great day of networking, listen to our top carriers. Chris will be there, okay? It is an amazing day for any life insurance agent. If you're green and brand new, no problem. If you're a veteran, 30, 40 years, 50 years, even better, you're gonna learn everything, all of the new concepts, technology, sales strategies, and all of the latest and greatest products and carriers. So. Don't miss that April 8th, 2022. Okay, a few carrier updates are in the middle. I'm gonna skip around a little bit. Uh, Forrester Strong Foundation term, that's like an impaired risk term. Commissions are amazing, amazing. Hancock just rolled out a new accumulation IUL. Um, that's a <clears throat> great platform also for diabetics. They have a nice little underwriting niche. 
Uh, let's move over to the right hand side. We have the new LERP program. So when you think Insure Me Now Direct, okay, think LERP. And here's what's neat about this turnkey platform for all PNC agencies or health agencies where they can offer, think like Amazon, they can offer this Amazon platform to all of their clients and start selling life insurance and everything that's sold on the platform, you get paid full commission on and then you can work to split out with them. You can even put them in your hierarchy. So really cool stuff. Uh, our scholarship program, okay, 23 new colleges added this year. We have a total of 437. We have 10 carriers now approved in the Sage Scholarship platform, another big one. Kerry's Corner, he just put out a great article. Every month we do this. Uh, the last one for October, awesome. We're going to send it out again in today's thank you email that you will have in your inbox before we leave today. Okay, um, we get a lot of calls from agents and they say, oh, you know, I wanna get a case status or I wanna see if this person's under me, what are they writing? So a lot of agents don't know we have a case status login on our website that allows you to track all of your cases in real time fashion 24 seven from anywhere in the world. So if you need help with that, let our marketers know and we will get you up and running. So no problem with that. Um, let's jump right into our featured presentation. I know I ranted a little bit here and I apologize for that, but uh, I want to get back on track and I want to introduce Mr. Chris Solomon, our RVP from Protective Life. Chris, you there? I am. Thanks, Bill. Yeah, thank um, you. I liked your intro. Um, loss hurts tragedy changes you. Um, I was going to take some time to talk about why I get into the business, but I'm going to save that for the Levinson Expo, which, by the way, um, I attend many seminars, conventions throughout the course of the year. Many of them are coming back online post, post pandemic. Um, I missed the Levinson Expo uh, because of, of pandemic. Not, I didn't attend. They didn't have it. They couldn't have it. Um, if you haven't been, it's really worthwhile. And the location they've chosen, Deerfield Beach, you're right on the ocean. It's beautiful. So um, I want to speak to you today about, uh, let's go from the beginning. There we go. Um, Bill had contacted me and asked me to, to, to speak to, to you folks uh, about our Extend Care Rider. Um, one of the things you may notice as I, as I just brought my screen up, if you could obviously you can see it is there's a whole lot of purple going on um protective historically at least since i've been with protective which has been since 2013 i calculated last night in my head while watching the world series how long i'd been in the life insurance business and i started in 1994 which i think puts me um at like 27 years if my math is correct um i've been doing this a long time protective has historically been blue and in the life insurance industry, in the insurance industry, period, many, many carriers are blue. We committed recently to a new brand. And I want to talk to you briefly about that new brand and what it means to you. Um, we're all familiar with brands. Heck, I'll throw out a couple of familiar ones. Everyone on the phone probably knows about Tide, Procter & Gamble. Um, we committed a few million dollars to rebrand the company and we rolled it out in September last month. I also want to speak to you about some of our sweet spots, term being one of them. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of slides here in a minute as to why you, if you are not looking at our term insurance, you really should be. Um, and three of our GUL products, hot GUL products. And then I want to go through the extend care rider and what that market space looks like. Before I hit brand, Bill had asked me, um, I think before we brought all of you live on the phone, I'm going to go over the things here on the agenda, but I wanted to throw this out there because I heard Bill say, say mention one type of producer, and this is not limited only to that producer, but I heard property and casualty. Over the past 12 months, actually October in 2020, we rolled out, if you're in the market space, contact Levinson. We rolled out a brand new product for a, uh, for a market space 
we had not been previously engaged in in that market space is group term carve out. And perhaps we can have a future call on that. We rolled out executive universal life, which is for group term carve out groups of 25 executives or more, and it's guaranteed issue. Um, essentially, you would take $40,000, multiply it by the number of executives in your census, minimum is 25 lives, and that would give you the death benefit across the board, which would be paid for by the corporation. So if you have business clients and you may be in the, um, in the executive benefit space, that might be a, a conversation that we have at a later date. Without further ado, who is protective? I know many of you sell protective life insurance, offer our solutions to your clients. Thank you for your business. Some of the stats on the screen, I think are important to show you who we are. As I said, I'd been here since 2013 and 2014, just for your own edification. I was, uh, I was riding through the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. I live in New Jersey. Um, going to an appointment early in the morning, my phone rang, my boss, was on the other other end of the phone and he said oh omg oh my god we were just purchased we were purchased um in uh, early june by a company by the name of daiichi which is japanese um they are the second largest insurer in japan i think they're somewhere around the neighborhood of the 14th largest insurer in the world we have a giant mothership that owns protective and we have a lot of their financial well we have their financial backing to remain a u.s focused and a U.S. feeling corporation. Since I've been here, um, I've become educated on something protective calls the virtuous cycle and what that virtuous cycle is. And if you think about, heck, just everything that's happened in the past 18 months, from going back to pre-March 2020 when things were normal, many things changed. We went through lockdowns, the stock market went way down the bond, the, the interest rate environment went down to drastically low, and I'll hit that low, hit that in a, in a couple of minutes. And we saw changes happening in our industry. We saw prices of products go up. We saw carriers pull products that we were selling. We've even seen this year one carrier that I'm aware of pull out of the individual life insurance space. Your options are declining. What the virtuous cycle is with protective, about every 18 months, we acquire a company or we acquire a company's block of business for pennies on the dollar. Shortly after the Daiichi announcement in 2014, that was June, in October, protective, not Daiichi, announced that they were going to purchase the Mutual of New York block from um, AXA Equitable for a billion dollars and expected to make our one billion back in about four years. We did it in three. We made a wise decision, wise purchase to kick us profit. Why that's important to you is we've done this consistently, at least since I've been here, and I'm aware of about 42 different companies that we do own. Um, that profit structure helps offset the interest rate pain that every insurance carrier feels because when they get money in the door, premium dollars. They invest that in the general account. The general account is invested in investment grade mortgage, mortgages treasuries and when the treasury rates go down we have something else to offset those lack of returns it's part of the reason why we're financially stable and it's why this this one particular slide is important bill had made mention an a plus a plus rated carrier i didn't include all of our ratings in a slide for you but i can tell you as far as am best goes we've been rated a or better since 1940. so we are in the protection business. I had mentioned this brand in this purple color. The reason why it's important is, while all of those changes have been happening for the past 18 months, well, they've been slowly happening over the past 20 years that I can see, where carriers get in business, get out of business. I used to work for Aviva. They're not, any, they're not, they're not a carrier anymore. Things change, our offerings change. Protective decided to spend a couple of million dollars to rebrand itself. We went from an umbrella symbol to two people holding hands, which you can see in the upper left-hand corner. We changed our, our color from more of a powder blue to indigo because we wanted to be different. 
the story that Bill told earlier of tragedy, the reason why it's important is because Protective has recommitted to being in the protection business. Bill's friend, as tragic as it is, fed the family, was protected. You are all protectors. If you're on the phone, you're a protector. Protective life is a protector. Some of the protection products I want to talk to you about before we get into our um, Extend Care Rider. First and foremost that I mentioned, I would talk about term. Classic choice term is the hottest term product we have. The last bullet on the screen shows you the durations that we have, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. I have a penny up here, and you'll see on the next slide, I've actually changed the penny because I didn't want to give any other carrier, if you look at the memorial, any other carrier, uh, any props on the slide. We have, as a, as a carrier, because we are in the protection business, we have committed to repricing our classic choice term. I've seen it done about every six to eight weeks. We're consistently priced and repriced into the top three. Most recently, we were 93, 91% of the time we were in the top three slots, and that goes for all ages, all durations, all different underwriting classes. 96% of the time in the top five slots. Keep an eye on that penny. Great monthly pr premiums, often the difference from number one is pennies literally. It's convertible to one of three GUL products we have at Protective, and I'll hit GUL and the disappearing GULs we've seen in the market space here in a quick slide in a moment or two. When I think the value of, think about the value of a penny, Carrier A, which is a well-known carrier, and they're well-known for consistently repricing their term when anybody else reprices into their territory, we've decided to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them understanding that they're going to continue to want to beat us by a penny on a monthly premium because that premium might get your attention. It's the lowest. If I took a male 45 for 20 year term at $100,000 standard non-tobacco, the annual premium shows protective a penny cheaper. But on a monthly basis, we're a penny more expensive. What do you get for a penny? Well, I mentioned you have one of three guaranteed universal life products to convert to. Other carriers don't have that breadth of an offering. We have an online submission platform, which we have owned for the past 21 years. They're located out of Elgin, Illinois. The important part there, much like Carrier A, is the staff that is on the, the outbound phone call, the tele, the tele app section. That staff, they are all protective life employees. We don't farm that out to a third party. Those people are accountable to, to your cases. They care about your cases. And many of them have been here for 15 plus years. Some of them are actually registered nurses. So they're familiar with what types of questions to ask as they go through the telephone interview with the, with the client. Um, protective Velocity is my online uh, platform, plus is my accelerated underwriting, which is wrapped into Velocity and that too, that also can be um, a webinar for a future date. How does it work? What does it offer you? Why do you want to use it? And everything is in good order. We have slightly, we have, uh, I, I, in my opinion, we have easier underwriting and I think we have great service. So what do you get for a penny by choosing protective? I think you get a lot. Um, the diminishing GUL offering. In January of 2020, some of the challenges we were facing were based on premium-based reserving. At the end of 2020, we were looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of 17 different GULs that you were able to sell from a carrier that you were familiar with. By March of 2020 with COVID-19, we started to see premium limitations, 1035 exchange amount limitations. And we watched that number drop from 17 down to 13. The products were starting to dry up. In April of 2020, and I had mentioned the stock market decline and then treasuries, the treasury interest rate dropped to 61 basis points. Many carriers at that point in time announced price increases. Do you know what Protective did? We doubled down on being a protector. We introduced our third guaranteed universal life product called Lifetime Assurance UL. 
in the summer of 2020, some carriers, some additional carriers left the GUL space. Some later would, would return with a guaranteed variable universal life, but it wasn't what we were all familiar with. We continued on keeping our pricing the same. In the summer of 2021, another carrier announced that they were leaving the individual life insurance space. The diminishing GUL offering. So what do we offer? Three products. There they are. If you think about, and I put houses up here, people sometimes, oftentimes can relate to pictures. I put houses up on the screen because if you think about potentially yourself as being a builder, a client comes to you, if you were a builder, they may have an idea of what they want as far as a new home goes. You as the builder need to decipher what their ultimate needs are from a home perspective and loop in an architect, which is Levinson. The architect can start to help you put together what type of, in, in your case, insurance offering would best suit your client. So if I look at Lifetime Assurance GUL, which is the house on the left, I look at that almost as a pre-built, prefab home. Lifetime Assurance GUL introduced April of 2020 when other carriers were raising prices and getting rid of their GULs. We introduced this. It is level pay only. I've had the question of can you 1035 exchange into it? I'm a straight shooter. I'm going to tell you up front, if you have 1035 exchange opportunities, I have two other products that are great. This one's not for that. It's a level pay. Think of this as term to at least age 90. So it's a GUL where you have to guarantee to at least age 90, but you can guarantee it to 90, 91, 92, 93, 98, 106. You get the picture all the way out to 121. It's designed to provide, well, a home is designed to last a lifetime. This is designed to last a lifetime too, as the foundation or the starting protection of family needs. Home number two in the middle, I kind of laugh because it looks a little bit like the Brady Bunch home, Advantage Choice GUL. It's more customizable. That one can take 1035 exchanges, single pays, short pays, level pays. You can model that home and, and, and it has flexibility where you can design it to, for it to achieve the client's needs. It's competitive no lapse protection. It is competitive on no lapse, generally speaking, between age 90 and 105 premium wise. Great product, still sell a lot of it. And then index choice UL. This product offers a guarantee to age 90. Thinking back to, to year 2011, um, a famous carrier uh, located in the Northeast whose baseball team recently was defeated in the baseball playoffs, um, not to mention any names, hopefully you're smiling. Um, they came out with my familiarity was the first life expectancy GUL. And when I was in, I was in a different position looking at that product, I thought, why would anybody ever want to, to sell that to their clients? Why wouldn't they go with simply a GUL for, for life, which in my opinion, that's what GULs do. However, other carriers began to introduce that style product and that product became pretty hot. We've decided to change our IUL and we changed it in August of this year. It used to have a guarantee out to 121 if you wanted to. We redesigned it because we wanted to participate in a hot market space. Our index choice UL has great premiums for a guaranteed age 90. And that same premium enables the product to go all the way out on a current assumption to age 100. If you are in the space where you offer your clients life expectancy products, you need to take a look at my index choice UL, which can also take 1035s, short pays, single pays, because the premium to guarantee to 90 and also carry it to age 100 with a dollar of cash value at 100 or 105 is going to be generally cheaper than any of the competition you're looking at because the, char the charges inside that product are drastically low. We want to design products or we design products that when you offer them to clients, there will not be any surprises on the back end. We want and will design products where you're not getting a phone call from an irate customer asking what happened. 
those are the three GULs we have. Those are the three GULs that you can that you can um, you can convert to from my the term product I, I, I spoke about. And these are the three GULs that offer our Extend Care Rider. A couple of things I want to hit on. I'm not going to bore you to tears with managing client risk and managing policy risk, but I think they're important to, to understand a little bit. When I talk about client risk, well, there are a number of different client risks. One of the client risks in this um, listing um, of factoids about long-term care need, what the projections are, increases, Alzheimer's, dementia, um, how high, how long will clients need? That's a client risk, a client, an additional client risk that you may not be thinking about. And I think it's very important is the client risk of using a long-term care rider or a chronic illness rider where the cost of it is unknown until the future. Yes, the client's protected, but not necessarily knowing what the client will be charged in the future when they go to exercise that protection vehicle. Personally, having done this for 27 years, that frightens me a bit. Everyone has a story. Bill started this off with a story. I have a story with my about my mother taking care of her before she passed seven years ago. And it involves long-term care. I don't have the time to go through that story. However, that experience in my life further committed my mind to the type of chronic illness long-term care I will have on my own life moving forward. So client risk, you can understand what the needs are, what the facts are, and what will the client ultimately be, be charged in the future? Is it unknown or should they pay for it up front? Generally speaking with my extend care rider, it will increase the target premium on any one of the GULs by between 10 and 15%. So not only are you helping your client, by helping your client, because we don't do this for free, you're getting paid for it as well. When I talk about managing, so we talk about managing client's risk, managing policy risk, what do we do? We underwrite for it. We pay attention to how many riders are sold, the number of claims, the interest rates, the rider cost. Rhetorically asking, how many of you on the phone remember back when Genworth had a stellar product and it became increasingly more and more cost prohibitive for clients? They did that on purpose. We monitor this because we, again, want to offer products that you'll bring to the public where you're assured and you know the products are solid. You're sure of the products you're recommending, the risks involved with the product, and those product risks your client are willing to take. Protective is trying to do the right thing. Protective is trying to be a protector. Managing policy risk matters as well. The agenda, my extend care rider. It's a traditional design, 90-day elimination period, defined monthly benefit up to 12,000 a month, it can be a specific dollar amount of up to 12,000, or it can be a percentage of death benefit up to 5%, which is different than my counterparts. And we have a waiver of premium on that. I'll go through how that works. And it's not your typical waiver of premium, you became disabled, we'll waive the premium on the policy. It's waiving the charge on the rider as well, while the client is under claim. Um, the traditional design, it's two out of six ADLs. I think most of you are, are, are familiar with that or se severely cognitively impaired. It's a 90 day, 90 day expe expectation, at least of disability and it's indemnity, it's not reimbursement. My experience with my mom was reimbursement and that product, which I didn't sell to her because I wasn't in sa that type of sales at that time was through that same carrier whose baseball team lost. I'm sorry if you're from Boston, um, but it was reimbursement and I was 40 and I had a full-time job, a family, a six-year-old boy and a sick mom and I traveled for work and I have to do all of my own receipts. So I know how to do that and I enjoy it, but I know how to do it. And I found having to do that and justify it to that carrier. And then further, what I what we had to do is we had an audit nurse come in from the carrier and physically stand in the bathroom and watch the home health aide, 
stay with my mom. Think about these things. We had to justify why we needed to be reimbursed. Indemnity, you file for your benefit and you get a check. If I took that example and I wasn't Chris Salomon, regional vice president, but let's say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Chris Salomon and I have a nine to five job at Home Depot and I had to quit to take care of my mom. Some of that money could have been used to help pay the bills that I needed to reimburse me for the stay home caring for my mom. Different ways to do it, but I think important things for you to think about as you look at living benefits. They're designed for the comfort of the living. What you sell is important. Define monthly benefit up to a five, up to five percent of the face amount, um, up to a face amount of five million dollars, up to a twelve twelve thousand dollar monthly limit. The max benefit with the face, you can get the maximum benefit by using 5%. You can get 12000 to the client per month for a face amount as little as $228,000. My competitive counterparts can't do that. Monthly benefit specific to the policy. So what we were talking about, last slide, how much death benefit do you need to purchase with me, protective, or other carriers? to get the $12,000 benefit to the client. 228, small face amount with protective. Four the other carriers offer 4%, so you have to buy at least 277 to get the $12,000 monthly benefit. Carriers with 2%, you have to buy a minimum of $555,000. Extend care, waiver of premium. This is super important. The client goes on claim we waive the charges for the rider and we waive the charges for the pro for the life product while the client is on claim premiums we waive the premiums there's no catch up required if the client gets better that waiver is permanent at the 25th consecutive payment so if we hearken back to the facts that i showed early in the presentation under client risk where the average payout duration is two years, 24 months. When we hit the, when protective hits the 25th consecutive, premiums are waived on the product. The product can't go away. That GUL is theirs to keep to protect the family if the death benefit's not exhausted by using it to protect the client while alive. We are driven by core principles because like you, we at Protective are protector, protectors. We design products with value, integrity, and strength and stability. That's what I wanted to talk to you today about. If you have questions, important information, everybody has important information. I'll leave that up there for a second. Please contact Bill. Here's his telephone number. Here's his email address. I know you're working with Levinson. I work with a lot of outfits. These guys are fantastic. Bill, over to you. Chris, perfect, spot on. And yes, once again, our expo, uh, Chris is gonna be there. He'll be presenting. He'll share some of these great stories that he mentioned. Um, do we have any questions that, that came in, Andrew, that uh, we can ask Chris while he's on? We have just a, a couple minutes and then we can uh, get this wrapped up. Yep, I just had one quick question. Actually, everybody understood the extend care rider, but I did have a question about the issue max issue ages for their term and the GUL and IUL products. So if you want to quickly comment on that. Um, for term based on the duration, it varies. So Bill and Andrew, I will get you hard copy documents that you can distribute to all 107 people on the call so they have something physical to reference. Our issue ages for, and again, it's gonna depend upon underwriting class for our GULs, um, but they can go up to 80 or 85. Now, what's important to note is we're still unfortunately in a pandemic. If you have a client that's 80 years old, you have to loop in Bill, and Bill has to loop in with me, I can go to underwriting. If you've got an 80 year old client and you're looking for life insurance, that's gonna be a great case if we can get it placed. We all understand that. But I wanna make sure that we can white glove this for you so we can get it done and over, over the hurdles
because at, a, at age 80, I think for some carriers, if not a lot, there are still some COVID restrictions, one of which is being required to have been vaccinated for older ages. So okay. not, to, okay. not to not answer your question, but there's some variables in there and I want you guys to have something physical to reference and be able to distribute to your, to your, um, to your producers. Yeah, we're going to we're going to send out that thank you email today and then uh, we'll include some of these brochures and requirements and it's a million dollars is the max face for non mid. Is that is that correct, Chris? If you're talking about accelerated underwriting, yes, it's a million dollars up to age 45 and it's half a million dollars up to age 60. Um, and that non med, the client literally could have a policy within three days. Okay, that's that's great news, and um, in Spanish speaking, that's okay uh, with the uh, with the accelerating program. Yep, with with the velocity acceler accelerating and um, and 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 straight through underwriting telelife, where it's all done by us, telephone APSs, we order everything. Um, that is Spanish and English. Those are the two languages we accept. Got it. Okay, perfect. All right, Andrew, do you have one more? Um, I think we got them all covered. Um, all the other questions that were on there were answered in uh, Chris's presentation. Okay. All right. Good stuff. All right, Chris, thank you once again. We always appreciate uh, you joining. Um, you know, yep. Yep. One real quick thing I neglected to mention in the, in the presentation, you can get my extend care rider up to table four. Wow. That's a big deal. Yeah. That's, that's a, a big, huh? yeah. Up to table four. That's that's huge. Yeah. And, and a lot of carriers that offer something similar are typically standard or better. So that's uh, that's another a plus. So thank you for that. OK. All right. Good stuff. So, yeah, we're going to send out that thank you email. We'll include everything, including contracting, even if you're already appointed with another IMO, but you want to take advantage of our tools and lead programs, um, we can get you moved over and that includes cash for contracting or leads for contracting with your first application. So uh, that's good stuff. Uh, let's move forward. Andrew's going to show you how to get started. And then we're going to show you we have some great living benefit consumer videos and marketing that you can start dripping out this afternoon, right, to get the question, hey, uh, I have a guy, I have a girl, and here's a quote and hopefully a sale. Andrew, you there? Yep. Thanks so much, Bill. Just want to show everybody here how to get started. So, of course, you're going to go to the Kerry Levinson website, levinsonandassociates.com. Click on the Products tab. You're going to go to our Living Benefits section, and you'll see we have a new revamped Living Benefits chart that goes over all the different carriers we offer, including Protective, and which riders they offer, if they're included or additional riders, what the issue age limits are. And we have all of the marketing material available for Protective and our other carriers that you can download right there at your fingertips, okay? So all of this, like Bill said, will be sent out this afternoon. However, you can come here to the website and download all the graphic material that you need to present to your clients or to read up on it yourself. Now, real quick, I wanted to show you some product niches on the top right-hand corner here. I thought this would be important to share with everybody because we do get a lot of questions here about, you know, um, can my client get long-term care if they're not so healthy, right? Like what Chris just said, you can go up to table four. I know they generally like standard or better, but they will go to table four, which is awesome. But also look at these notes here. AIG has a guaranteed issue life insurance policy with a critical illness, with a chronic illness benefit, excuse me. So if somebody's really unhealthy and they can't get anything, we can still sell the AIG guaranteed issue product, which includes a chronic illness benefit regardless. You can't be denied for it. Also, AIG has a QOL product where the living benefit riders are included and cannot be denied if an offer is made. Okay, so if somebody gets a table eight, they're still going to get the critical and chronic illness riders built in. They cannot be removed. I know some carriers out there, which I won't name, do remove the riders. So this is a big deal. Last up, Mutual of Omaha has a lump sum chronic illness benefit at all classes. So same deal, table eight, table four, regardless. It's a lump sum benefit. So if the person qualifies for $200,000 lump sum, they get it tax free. So these are some unique strategies with some other carriers that we can use. But of course, protective, as Bill said earlier, one of our top sellers, bar none. Moving forward to our co-branding resource center, we made some major improvements here. Uh, we added our LERP sales guide, of course, but the real 
ticket here is the consumer living benefits video. I've highlighted that there and I took a screenshot of it. This is a two minute commercial that we basically built for you that we can co-brand with your name, your information, your email, your phone number, and it drives people back to you. And these are the probing questions that nobody wants to have that conversation with the client, but these are the important questions to ask. Are you covered? What happens if you're still alive and you need this money? This video hits them right with it and it's great. It's, it's already done for you. All you have to do is request it from us. We build it for you free of charge. So definitely take advantage of these co-branded resources so you can get out there and start making some sales happen. I'm gonna get it back to Bill to talk about our lead generation options that you can think about for living benefit products. Bill? Okay, good stuff. By the way, we're done in about three minutes here. So I know we're running a little bit behind, but we'll get you out uh, right on or real close to 4 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, so I know all of you uh, just sat through the last uh, 57, 58 minutes of this and you're saying, great, this looks wonderful. I need people to speak to, right? You gotta share the story. Okay, great news. We have marketing material that's available at no charge to you. If you're active with us, we have a consumer living benefit two-minute video that you can use on your Facebook ads, through eblasts, on all of your social media platforms, and we brand it with your picture, name, phone number, so everything gets sent back to you, and it's free. Okay, so take advantage of this. We have a bunch of flyers, marketing pieces for agent recruiting, for uh, agents that are selling on a retail level, all of the above. We even have a mortgage protection mailer piece, okay, that uh, you can participate in. And of course, we talk all about living benefits and the new type of life insurance, right, that pays while you're still alive. And we have orphan leads. Think about this for a second, right? These are free. Think about this. Most of these orphan leads have vanilla term policies. So you come in looking like a superstar saying, hey, I know you have this 20 year term, you're 17 years in. And by the way, did you hear about the new kind of term life insurance that pays while you're still alive? Oh, really? Tell me more. Yeah. Oh, plus your policy is expiring in three years. Let me run a quote and, and share with you how this policy triggers while you're still here with us, right? So anyway, once you reach $10,000 of paid premium in any year, you get free orphan leads with Levinson. Okay, let's move forward. By the way, Protective, obviously our core, core company, and I don't say that lightly, okay? $1 million non-med term max face and up to $12,000 of monthly LTC benefit. That is almost unheard of in this industry. Okay, so that's a big one plus backed by an A-plus carrier. So that's why I was so excited about today's call. Now, speaking of living benefits, another awesome, in fact, one of our keynote speakers from a few years back, Joe Ross, his presentation is all about living benefits on permanent products, on term products. So what we did here is we broke it down. We have a three-part training series that's only available for Levinson agents. We're gonna include this in our thank you email you'll get today. It's three hours of training on selling life insurance over the phone using the LB spin, living benefits spin. So great stuff by Joe Ross as well. Okay, just about done here. This is our second to last slide. You know, it was funny, Chris is sitting here talking about baseball and the World Series, and here's what's so cool. Look at the top left picture, right? This is the Bill Levinson Experience podcast. These are some of our guest speakers. Top left is Jorge Solar. He's a personal friend of mine, lives down here. I interviewed him for an hour. Okay, we spoke all about, you know, growing up, motivation, and how he literally came off of a, and, and I'm not exaggerating, off of a boat uh, into Florida with nothing. Started with nothing. Today, he's in the World Series. He plays for the Atlanta Braves. They're on, what, game two? I think they're one and one right now, but watch TV. You'll see on the World Series, right? And you'll see Jorge Solari is one of the top home run hitters in the league. And I sat down with him for an hour and did a podcast interview. Check that out when you can. I'm so proud of that. 
Um, you know, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's humbling. I think he's got a great story that we can all relate to. And to see him where he is today in his low 30s is amazing. Amazing story. All right. Mike Patel, another big one on the bottom. I have his podcast interview tomorrow. So we're going to launch it probably late tomorrow or Monday uh, latest. But he is a MDRT producer sells life, living benefits, DI, annuities, all the above. And I'm going to pick his brain for one hour. That's going to be another big one. We'll email it out to all of our agents. Uh, like I said, latest by Monday. Okay. These are the future trainings. That's what you're on right now. Highlighted in blue are the live trainings that I want to mention real quick. November 4th, generate leads using social media. And then we have a big IUL guest speaker. And then on the bottom is that your family bank guest speaker and the $2,500 incentive program rolling out on the 11th. Okay, our last slide of the day. Now, if you remember, I spoke about my personal story that just happened with my friend passing, unfortunately. That is, that's actually my hand and, and her hand. And that was my Positive Tuesday quote I dedicated to her. We each get one chance at one life. So love, hug, smile, and laugh like there's no tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow is now. Okay, if you have the opportunity, you run with it and share these stories with your prospects because they're real. Okay, and there's going to be a time if you're in this business and you're serious about it where you're going to be that Superman or Superwoman delivering the death benefit check or the good news that says, hey, your policy is active. You're getting a million dollars in the mail in a physical check tax free. Okay, so it's an unbelievable story. Obviously, it's a horrible story. It's a horrible tragedy, but we can all learn from this. Okay, and remember this when you're speaking to your next prospect. We're going to have our question of the day switching gears real quick. So make sure your little fingers are on your little keyboard and you're ready to type away because you got to be quick. We got over what almost uh, way over 100 agents on still. So make sure you're quick and you're ready. The two it's a two part question. And the question is, like I said, two parts. So you got to answer twice. The max non-med limit with protective max face amount max non-med limit with protective tell me the face amount and then tell me the max long-term care monthly benefit with protective okay so two parts max face amount and max monthly ltc benefit you can get with protective two-part question give me the two-part answer and you win andrew do we have a winner we do first to correctly get both responses is jeffrey h Jeffrey H. from California. Jeffrey H., the answer, $1 million max face and $12,000 a month in LTC benefits. So with that said, I want to wrap up. I really appreciate you listening to my personal story that happened last weekend. It was a little tough for me, but I hope we can all remember this and learn from stuff like this, right, and share these stories because that's what makes a difference at the end of the day. Let's have a great Thursday, great rest of the week, a great weekend, great selling, and thank you everyone once again. Take care. Thanks, Bill.